Good morning students, I am Pavan, your science master. Today I wanted to speak to 6th standard students. Students, until last class, we have talked about first lesson, that's our food. With improver learning section, the lesson is completed. Only few answers I have given you and rest of the answers you have to find answers on your own that will be very easy and uh, that the you can do on your own and don't bother about that you can read the list of the questions you can understand and you can easily find answers for those questions children today i wanted to take you to next lesson that is playing with magnets i think you have played a uh, lot of times many times uh, with the magnets you may have experience playing with magnets okay children let's get into the concept before getting into the concept i wanted to give you a few uh, examples of my life experiences that i experienced in my childhood children in my childhood i used to play uh, various games uh, uh, sometimes I used to play with my friends, sometimes I used to play on my own. But when I play on my own, I used to uh, handle some of the things in my hand. The things like, you know, most of you also play, nowadays most of you also play uh, using the things that have attracting property with only some of the specific other things. Can you guess what are those things? What are they? Magnets. Yes, I used to play with the magnets holding in my hands. And I used to take two magnets and I used to hold one magnet in each of one magnet in one hand, another magnet in another hand. I used to bring them to close and uh, uh, I used to enjoy by, you know, by they are coming close themselves and attaching to themselves and sometimes they don't come close they go they go away from each other sometimes and i used to enjoy by playing with these uh, things like you know magnets and uh, other experiences that you can see in your school office all of you would have seen a pin holder in your office school office and uh, you may have seen that in this pin holder, uh, some pins are attached to the top or cap. Why do the pins get attached to the cap of the pin holder? Do you understand that? And also, what could be there in that cap? Can you guess? Does it attract objects other than pins? And what are they? Can you guess answers for these questions? Yeah. You might have seen some metal stickers stuck to the doors of an iron almara or a refrigerator. And what is there in those stickers which makes them stick? Can you guess answer for this question? Why do the pins get attached to the cap of the pin holder? there is something in the cap of the pin holder what might be that yes that's right what might be that magnet what could be there in that cap means magnet and does it attract uh, does it attract object other than pins and what are they can you guess answer for this question it attracts other than pins like um, nails and uh, other things that you can guess what are the things are attracted by this mm, magnet nails and safety pins and what else can you guess and finally you can understand the metal things metal things get attracted by the magnet especially in metals that which are made by iron they are attracted by this uh, magnet 
that you can understand and then and i said some of the stickers get stuck to the doors of almara and refrigerator right and the stickers so what do the stickers consist of the stickers consist of an attracting thing that is a strip of magnet inside it strip of what a uh, strip of magnets so these on the whole we can understand magnets attract some of the things like the things made by iron okay like this you can understand now to understand more about this magnets we can do some of the activities activity 1 finding objects that get stuck to the cap of the pin holder okay here you have to do that activity on your own how you have to do is take a pin holder you can get it from any stationery shop okay yeah before doing this activity you have to collect some of the things like uh, draw some of the things like pins jump clips iron nails and etc and other things like piece of paper a pencil and an eraser and you have to collect these things and then uh, what you have to do you have to try to bring these things uh, close to the uh, pin holder cap and you observe it what would you understand you would notice that some of these objects like pins jump clips nails get stuck to the top of the pin holder while the other objects like paper pencil eraser fall into the pin holder they do not get stuck to the cap of the pin holder why does this happen so can you guess answer for this question the cap of the pin holder contains a what you can guess answer i already told you before right magnet very good similarly the metal stickers also have a magnet at the back of uh, each metal each sticker at the back of each sticker so that they can stick to the iron doors and some of the questions i would like to ask you what material is needed for making magnets how were these magnets discovered let us try to find answers for these questions now okay now um, i wanted to share a story of magnet i wanted to share what story of magnet let me share you the story of magnet around 2500 years ago there lived an old shepherd his name is magnus he used to take his goats and sheep to the hills for grazing he always carried a wooden stick which had an iron cap on its lower end one day while his goats were grazing magnus dipped his stick into a spring of water and poked at the pebbles and stones at the bottom with it suddenly he felt something pulling his stick when he took it out of water he saw a stone stuck to the iron cap the stone which magnus pulled out was called load stone it's a natural magnet and possess the property of attracting iron so we can understand the magnet how the magnet was discovered and with its remembrance you know who magnus and the load stone is given a name magnet okay the magnets we discussed in the beginning you know they are not natural magnets these magnets are man made magnets okay and uh, magnets of different shapes uh, they display on the screen you can see and you can try to understand the shapes of the magnets okay the magnets we see and use in our daily life possess different shapes some of the usual shapes of magnets are shown on the screen you can observe carefully this is bar magnet this is ring magnet and this is 
disc magnet and finally this is horse shoe magnet